rain. Harmless as it seems, what happens once it enters a community sewer system? The city of Wauwatosa in southeastern Wisconsin is working with R.A. Smith National using dye water flooding as a tool to follow the path of that rainwater. One of the first steps in our dye flooding process is installing the sewer plugs. Sewer plugs are used to isolate sections of the storm sewer to allow us to investigate exfiltration from the storm sewer causing infiltration into the sanitary sewer. This here is a 12 inch plug getting installed in a sewer manhole. The second step in our process after the plug is set is now adding water. In the city of Wauwatosa we use city water from hydrants feeding through hoses adding green dye to now give us dyed water in which we can do our investigations in the sanitary sewer. Green dyed water is added to the storm sewer until we get a surcharging effect like you see here at this catch basin. Once filled to the top, we reach the capacity of the storm sewer, which is typically a five to 10 year rainstorm event. This way we can simulate a worst case scenario of what's actually happening with leaks between the storm and sanitary sewer during an extreme rain event. Once the storm sewer is completely surcharged, the video is actually put into the sanitary sewer. As we were discussing before, our goal is to force this non-toxic bright dye into defects within the sanitary sewer. As you can see here, we get to the point where previously invisible defects now become visible in this operation. In this particular case, we're both identifying the location and quantifying the amount of dye water entry into our sanitary sewer, essentially getting us a feel for the water that shouldn't be there and how much is actually coming in. In the last two and a half weeks out here in Wauwatosa, we've been flooding storm sewers, looking for leaks into the sanitary sewer. And we've found over 500 gallons per minute of leaks in this time frame. And that 500 gallons doesn't sound like a lot of water, but if that water is going into the sanitary sewer, it is capacity being taken away from the treatment plant to treat sewage. It presents the possibility for basement backups, for sanitary sewer overflows, because 500 gallons per minute in a number of these lines is actually just enough to fill the lineup. Failing sewer systems, basement backups, regulatory requirements, whatever the reason, identifying leaks in your sewer system is critical to you.